getting on I-15, heading south. That's gonna take us right through, uh, right through Las Vegas. Since it's a Sunday, you know, just about 10.30 at night. I don't see where we're gonna, we should have that much trouble unless somebody had an accident. But, you know, you never know. All right, we're getting off of here, off of uh, 515. Getting on to uh, 93, or US 93. Everybody who knows this little stretch of road knows that this, this has been uh, redone. So the GPS doesn't quite align with the, uh, with the actual road anymore. So until, they, until an update's done, you're going to be off the highway according to the uh, map. In a quarter mile, take the entrance to the right on US 95 South Search Light and then keep to the right in 0 0.3 miles. Now we're getting down to uh, 95 South. The last time we were on this stretch of road, we were coming north out of, uh, out of Phoenix. Tolleson, to be exact, we, were, we took that road up to, uh, that's what we took up to uh, the last time we were up near Seattle. This will take us down to the very point of, uh, of Nevada, down where California and Arizona and Nevada all meet. So, Cal Nev Ari area. In 0.2 miles, keep to the right on US 95 South Search Light. We stayed at the rest area there at Cal Nev Ari. Uh, you know, last time we were we headed north. So now we're just going to do it in the reverse of, of that trip. Basically, take this straight south. That'll dump us into uh, California. along the, uh, the back road of California for a little bit all the way down to uh, I-10 then we'll take uh, we'll head to, then we'll get on I-10 head east get through that little 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 bit of California that remains and that'll take us straight on into uh, Arizona And then the last little bit is basically just getting into uh, getting into Phoenix, getting onto the east side of Phoenix to Mesa, and to this uh, schoolhouse, this elementary school that this uh, styrofoam is going into. Ready, ready, ready. All right, just about a mile, and we're going to be getting here on to I-10 eastbound, and then in a couple minutes, we're going to be in Arizona. And right over the border in Arizona, we're going to stop at the. Uh, First truck stop here. Do a quick load check. 
bathroom, whatnot, blah, 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 blah. And basically we have another three hours to go till we get to uh, till we get to uh, our stop in Phoenix. Speed We are now in Arizona and also we are in mountain time. So now it is officially 325 in the morning. We just lost an hour by simply crossing the border. That's the problem with going east. You gotta factor in that extra that time lost. If you don't, you'll be late for everything you do. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Speed limit reduced ahead. Alright. Get in here. Use the old facilities. Make sure we're as much out of the way as possible. Destination on the left side, find J Travel Plaza number 608. Now we got some early morning traffic here in Phoenix on I 10. We're still about 45 miles away from our delivery. It is 5 50 in the morning. We are still on schedule, be just a little bit early. But everything's running pretty smooth. All right, here's what we're unloading. Sheets of, of, of uh, insulation for the roof. It's a 48 inch by 96 inch by like two and a half inch thick, 2.6 inches thick. Going on top of a uh, brand new uh, elementary school being built here in Mesa, Arizona.
It was not on the map. The roads aren't even on the map yet. The instructions given, which I had three different sets of instructions. None of them are actually correct. So, fun, fun, fun. You see they're building houses over there. Putting the school in right here. Alrighty, so we are now about 30 minutes away from where we uh, dropped off. Basically, this is the nearest uh, truck stop. Going over here to the Loves. Here on the southwest uh, side of town. So we're going to get ourselves a shower. We'll see if they have the, uh, you know, a shop in there that can do a PM on the truck. The one mile, take exit 162, Wild Horse Pass Boulevard, Sandist Road. In a quarter mile, take exit one. And we're gonna get some sleep because we were up at, you know, from 10 o'clock last night. I only got about three hours of sleep. And after that 10 mile walk I did, kind of, kind of, uh, kind of feeling it. I mean, I'm not driving the dangerous, you know, I'm still pretty alert, but you know, I could use the sleep. So we'll see if they got a shop in there. Hopefully they can do the PM so I can get that over and done with. And uh, like I said, give me a shower, give me something to eat. I got I saw some uh, chicken that's been marinating for a while, so I'm gonna put that on the old panini press and do that. Maybe make a little bit of rice. And see what I think I saw some frozen vegetables. Might mix that with it, make it a make it a full meal. Yeah, it looked like they're a little bit full, but you know, we should have we should be able to get a spot. I mean, it's 10 o'clock in the morning here in Phoenix, so I mean there should be a few people up finally up and rolling. You would at least hope. So I think I see a couple empty spots, so it shouldn't be a shouldn't be a worry. Arby's and this uh, loves. Now, don't really want any of those, but if it gets to a point where I just feel like just saying screw it, I may just get one of those, you know, either McDonald's or an Arby's. shop here so we should be okay let's see is this guy open spot here Yes, this is an open spot. There we go. 